I'm just going to show you here our Toolset Pro that we've developed here. So what it is is you choose the config file. This is a CSV, so you can have different uh, games in here. I have Arma 3, I have Train Simulator 12, 2020, I have Train Simulator World, and now I'm going to choose the profile. So I have two profiles in this. I have Trains and Trains Manual. So this really allows you to control the real features of the train. So as soon as I've selected my profile, it now shows all the commands that will be run. And now I'm just going to click the switch to go active. If you want to modify it, you click on config. And you can see this is going to open up all of the settings and the commands within a spreadsheet program. So you have control over this. You can back up this file, you keep it for yourself. You can just add new rows and create new features yourself or you can just use my file. All you will have to do is just change the joystick button and the axis to match your setup. So I'll show you what that is. So in my case, my throttle here, my thrust master, is uh, joystick number three, can you see that? Is joystick number three, and now I'm clicking a button and I can see buttons one showing up, or I'm sliding one of the axes and I see joy R, for example. So if I wanted to change one of the buttons, I would just replace the button with what I see here and just make sure you have the right joystick. If I wanted to assign something from this joystick, watch, on my program here I go, I have to find the joystick, so number four, and then I click buttons on my joystick and you can see they actually show up here too. So I know that this is button number two for four. So if I want to make one of the commands joystick four, button two, I could then reassign it. So you do that for your simulator. Obviously this is tailored to my simulator. So let's show you the manual setup. So I'm clicking active on SimuCheck Toolset Pro. Now it means any change I make in my joystick is being sent to the computer, not the game, the computer. So you have to make sure that you click into the game. I'm now gonna change my mode, not from the basic mode, but I'm gonna change to the uh, advanced mode. And this is what I've set up. The brakes, you click to release. You can see that went down. So I'm gonna slide up. It applies the brake 15%, 20%. Let's see if I can show you this, 20%, 25%, 30%, but you can't go down, nothing happens, but you click the button and it releases. I believe that's how the real trains are, but I've never been in a real train. I would love to go if anyone knows who can get me into a train, <laughs> just let me know. Now I also wanted the forward reverse and I wanted a middle point, the neutral, which is not set up by default. So when you get the game, you just have to go to settings, go to control settings, so cab, reverse, or neutral, I'm putting in V. Now I'm clicking OK. So now when I go forward, and now I click to the middle, it goes back to neutral, which is, which is great. All right, so here I'm in reverse. I'm gonna slide it now into forward. Uh, my brakes are off, they are. I can make sure by just going down like this to double check. Now here we are with the big throttle, just slide her up. Hear that sound come up and watch that train just push those cars. Oh yeah. So it's nice, so as your wheels slip, you can pull back down and just kind of do a nice controlled, uh, controlled push. So watch, as soon as I slide off, I can still coast, which is nice. And now I could literally slide it into reverse and I could just gun it up, which is illegal in the real world. And I could just pull until it slides into the opposite direction. Look at that. I think you would get fired if you did this on the real railroad. So now you see it's pulling, and look at this power. And just feel that power as you turn it up. Oh, the little wheel slipped, so I'm just gonna slow it down a little bit, because I, I slid the wheels a little too much. Now let's go in the cab too. I have a button here. So I have a button on my uh, joystick, which I can go right into the cab. And I can still use the mouse to look around. But this feels real. Oh yeah, pull those cars. I'm just gonna make my window a little wider here so I really get into the game. So another button I set up is I can click 
and it turns on all of the disconnections. So without touching the keyboard, I can literally just click my one button, go and click disconnect. Now I can slide it into reverse, release my brakes, push my horn. Okay, and now hit my throttle. And now I should leave the train and I'm disconnected. And there you go, I'm leaving the train. Okay, now let me go back all the way. Let's go in the train actually, I'll click here. Oh, this, look how real this feels. All right, so I want to show you one more thing I've set up here. So I'm just going to use my independent now. It's going to click my independent. I'm going to let the train slop, stop on its own. Look at this, slowly. Look, my no hands. Okay, good. So, so I set up a button on my joystick here where I click and I can see all of the junctions ahead of me. And while I hold that down, because if I let that go, it's all gone again. So that kind of kind of keeps you in the game. It just lets you look quickly. So I hold it. Now, below the blue one, I've set up ahead of me, I can change the junction. Or in the middle one, I can go behind me. But we'll just do ahead of me. So ahead of me, I click and you can see I just changed over to the left side which is really amazing for switching because it lets you very quickly just go through. You see right now it's on left. I'm going to click the button and it goes back to the right side. So that way it really lets you intuitively just move all this around. All right, so that's all the basics. I'm going to now just do some quick switching and just show you kind of the thing in action and show how quickly we can actually get into this whole game now. So here we go. Okay, turning off the brake. I'm going to switch it into forward direction, forward traction rather. Let's turn on the bell and let's give it some throttle. I'm going to click my button to make sure, oh, I'm going to quickly, you see, switch over there. I want to go to the left and get some cars. I'm now just confirming that it's going to go green on the left, green on the left. Okay, so now I'm just going to pull just the tankers apart. I'm going to put the tankers, two tankers here, I'm going to connect them to the tankers here. So very quickly, I just click my button. I disconnect the tanker there, I'm sliding into reverse, releasing my independent, I'm giving some throttle, and now watch this, I'm pulling back my tankers, see, without the boxcar, I'm now just going to let it coast a little bit, okay, you see, now I can switch, good, now I'm going this track, so I'm going to slide it into forward direction, there's no brakes on right now, I was just idling, and now I'm just going to hit some throttle, and I'm going to gun it. Now I'm going to use my, there's a button here I have so I can jump back into first person view. Now this feels real. Let me coast a little bit. Let's hit some independent. So we slow down 13 miles. I will destroy that car if it hits at 13 miles. So right now my independent is actually on. It's slowing me down, but it's hard to see. So I'm going to go in the, out, and in the exterior view. So I'm turning off my independent. So I can even click on the car here and I can zoom in here. Now my, indep my independent breaks off. I'm just going to give it a little gas. I think I always heard uh, three miles an hour. So I'm just going to slow it down now. You see? And now I can just let it coast. At three, oh, four miles an hour. Hopefully it'll slow down a little bit. No brakes. Let's just hit it at four miles an hour. There we go. Connected. Now I don't want this tanker, so I'm going to remove the uh, flat cars. So I'm just going to, again, click this one button. You see everything turns on. I can quickly just jump my mouse, click, it released them. Now I'm going to click reverse. I'm going to try, I don't have any brakes on. And then I'm now just going to give some throttle. And there it is, they're all connected together. So I'll just kind of bring it up to 10 miles an hour. Slow it down. Now I'm going to let it roll, and you can even click on the back of this car here, pretend you're hanging on for dear life. <laughs> here we go, like this, pretend you're hanging on. Oh, it must be cool to be hanging on to these cars. Okay, I didn't have any brakes on, I'm going to now put back in forward gear. I'm now going to just hit some throttle, kind of going to go up to halfway throttle, and confirm here it's at four, you see that's halfway. As soon as it gets rolling, two, three, four, maybe even like five miles an hour, I'm just going to pull it back and I'm going to let the whole thing just coast. And it feels good. 
Yeah, you can see, still going at seven miles an hour, so I can just let it go. Look, mano hands. Oh, let it go. Five miles an hour, think I'm gonna make it? The momentum? Nope. Four miles an hour, maybe. So right now I'm just gonna click on the last car, and I'm gonna kinda zoom in and see if I can make that car. Nope, three miles an hour. I'm still coasting. Two miles an hour, not gonna make it. So I'll just hit, I'll hit a little, maybe 25% throttle. Confirm I get rolling. As soon as I see three miles an hour, I'm gonna pull back. All right, there, pull back, we'll hit four. Let's let it coast now. Hopefully it'll slow down to three and we'll get a nice connection at three miles an hour. Four, four, give me three, give me three, give me three. Nope, four. I think I'm fired at four. <laughs> there we go, you see? So now I can just slide it back into reverse and now I can give it some throttle. Hit some, blow the horn. All right, and we're rolling. I'm gonna click back on the locomotive at the front. And there's some switching and it's pretty intuitive. Now remember, if all of a sudden you get a little lazy and you don't really wanna do all of this again, you're kind of getting late, you're getting tired, just get rid of this throttle on the, on the left side. Let's just go back to only our SciTech throttle and our mouse and watch this. I'm gonna to switch to trains, not manual, just regular trains. Now I'm gonna switch my mode back to the regular mode. All right, so I switched now to the regular mode. I'm on the regular trains profile. And now watch how intuitive it is. So the right lever is forward, the left lever is back, which is cool. So I can go slide up to 50%. Watch, it's gonna go up to 50%. Well, 45, close enough. I can then slide up to like 70%. I can then slide back down to nothing and the train will stop. Then if I wanna go backwards, I literally just slide this up, turn off my bell. You can see, and I'm going backwards and I can slide back to nothing. And there it is.